A very good day to all you patriots out there, and welcome back to Tall Ship Tuesday. Now, I'm in possessive possession, uh, sorry, of another letter from Captain Rathbun here. Uh, now, it seems there is a bit more to tell about the ship Mary that Providence had taken prize uh, in the harbour in the Bahamas. And so, uh, in recognition of the extraordinary accomplishments of Providence's Marine Captain John Trevet, shortly after departing the Bahamas, Captain Rathbun decided to give Trevet command of Mary. Trevet protested the decision at first. Such a modest man. But Rathbun and the other officers agreed that Captain Trevet was most deserving of this honour and insisted that he be given it. And thus, Captain Trevet found himself in command of Mary and a crew of about 30 men for the return journey northward. It will not surprise you to hear that it was not long before trouble appeared on the horizon. Only hours after Trevet took command, a ship was sighted, sailing toward them at speed. Rathbun signaled Trevet to alter his course and make a run for it while Providence diverted the ship's attention. The diversion worked. The ship stood for Providence, and Rathbun led the captain on a merry chase until Trevet and the crew were safely away. Rathbun then made a quick manoeuvre, similar to the one I made when eluding Solda Bay. That allowed him to escape his pursuer. Alas, they too could find no sign of Mary. Rathbun resumed his course for England, uh, New England, sorry. But as the days turned into weeks, his worries deepened. It was still early in February, and the farther north they sailed, the colder and fiercer the winds blew. Tis a rare thing for a captain to sail north in the winter, and for good reason. Now, the weather is most foul and dangerous, and ice upon the rigging of decks causes many a mishap. Uh, sailing is a hard life, of course, and on winter voyages men can uh, get their hands and feet badly frozen. In fact, Heard later that one of the crewmen aboard Mary froze to death as the ship approached Nantucket. <sighs> well, at last Providence approached the island of Nantucket. As they approached, however, a ship was sighted lying off the harbour. No rest for the weary. Rathbun resolved to take her and beat the men to quarters. They prepared for battle and set course for the ship. As they approached, they could see the ship was primed and all her guns out her ports and ready for action. But as they grew closer and drew within range, a cheer went up among the men. This was no enemy, but the Mary herself, only recently arrived off Nantucket. Uh, as her guns were already prime, uh, Mary fired off a salute, but Providence cheerfully returned before both ships came to anchor near the shore and the crew reunited. Now, this is not the first nor the second time uh, that I have related tales in which what transpired was not in the least what might have been expected. But that is the constant of war, indeed, of life itself. Now, it is difficult uh, enough to prepare oneself for what we cannot foresee, and yet we also must be ready for the things that we, we can and cannot foresee. Now, fortunately for Providence, these surprises have at times been in her favour. Uh, however, the war is not over yet, and there are many things that may befall us still. As a captain, I put great thought into the preparations uh, for each voyage, and yet, as the venture continues and unfolds, I find I must devise plans in the moment as well, uh, such as right here. Indeed. Now, we've spoken before of the qualities that uh, leaders and comrades at arms and what one might expect to find in them and what one might wish to find in them and all of that, uh, those many things as well. So here's my question to you. How can re we recognize the abilities in others and in ourselves to prepare thoroughly for one course of action uh, regardless of what the circumstances may be and how can we uh, sort of adjust the plan as time goes on, things like that. Uh, essentially what I'm asking, is there a way we can find that uh, we can very easily adjust, well not easily, but uh, quickly adjust the plan and continue the voyage and reach that desired destination regardless of what obstacles are thrown into the way? Hey, well, if you've found any method of that, do please advise me. Anyway, I do thank you very much for joining me. 
There is, of course, much more to this tale to tell, and I shall thank you very much when you return to me the very next time we are here on Tollship Tuesday.